So this is Philip Morton interviewing Kathy Stout from Wildscape Incorporated. And Kathy, tell me a little bit about your booth and your product here. Well, we're here representing the caddisfly. Caddisflies are one of my favorite insects that I've worked with for years. But what's unique about the caddisfly is that they create their own cases and out of stones naturally in the stream. But what I do is I give them gemstones. So I'm creating, helping them create beautiful, unique pieces of art. And so, of course, entomology. Love my stuff. So I'm very fortunate to be able to come this year. I wasn't sure if I was going to be here, but so they've been very good to us. And I try to make the best type of jewelry I can for them. When was, uh, so I, uh, I know you're a booth favorite, um, especially those buying presents for loved ones and things. Um, when was your first ESA meeting that y'all came to? Gosh, it must have been about 15 years ago. And I can't even remember which meeting it was. But yes, it was uh, amazing. We came in and people were just enthralled with what we had done. And not only did I hear, wow, we've thought about this but never had done this before, but they were very appreciative of the fact that I took the time to do something really unique and artistic with science with the caddisflies and take them to the next level. Yeah. The educational aspect of this has been amazing. I go to schools, I teach kids about how important insects are, not only in streams but throughout, and they're appreciative now a little bit more of science and then how cool the artistic end of it can be. When you're at the ESA meetings, I know you're busy manning your booth and doing all, all that exhibitors need to do, um, but do you ever get to go to any of the other uh, ESA talks or events? I or? would love to. I try to, especially if I know that there's somebody talking about a tricopter and uh -huh. or, you know. So I do try and I have learned a whole lot from other scientists doing their research with um, these insects so I know now that I can't rear them and have them made in captivity because the males won't mate with the same females so um, I would love to. I'd also love to do a presentation one year here at ESA and actually um, starting to collect some data so I've got some pretty unique things to, to share with everybody. Um, I want the caddisfly to be as popular as the dragonfly so I'm trying to tell everybody that you know these caddisflies are the coolest bugs. I mean the dragonfly is okay but let's let's give the caddisfly a shot and um, you know my my one thing is my my larvae are my babies and when they're building for me I take very good care of them so we have no union issues you know the caddisflies are fed well and they're kept very comfortable in their environment and the best quality of leaves I can provide them so you know we have a very nice working relationship so the caddisflies are eager to come work with me in my lab and then I gently release them when they emerge as adults and so everybody's happy in the end that's really great well I really appreciate your time and your Thanks. interview thank you very much you're welcome